Can we have a statement, please? A resounding win for E. Jean Carroll. A, a federal jury finding former President Trump sexually abused her and then defamed her by calling her story a lie, awarding her $5 million. The jury swiftly returning their unanimous verdict after fewer than three hours of deliberations. In a statement tonight, Carroll saying, this victory is not just for me, but for every woman who has suffered because she was not believed. The jurors hailing from Manhattan, Westchester County, and the Bronx. Six men and three women, including a security guard, physical therapist, and former janitor, all kept anonymous throughout the trial, a rare move imposed by the judge for their own safety. Over the course of two weeks, they heard from Carol, tearful at times, recounting the attack she says happened more than 20 years ago in a dressing room at Bergdorf Goodman. Two friends, she told at the time, along with two other women who've accused Mr. Trump of making unwanted advances, all to show a pattern, all claims he's denied. And tonight, another. Moments after the verdict, Mr. Trump released a statement on Truth Social saying, I have absolutely no idea who this woman is. This verdict is a disgrace, a continuation of the greatest witch hunt of all time. A denial similar to this one from last fall when the former president blasted Carol's story as a hoax, a post viewed by millions. The one the jury found today was defamatory. They make up stories and then I'm not allowed to speak my mind. But his attorneys put on no defense case at trial and Mr. Trump never showed up. Instead, posting about his travels overseas. I don't know anything about this woman. Though jurors did hear from I Donald Trump watching this deposition right video where he didn't shy away from that now infamous Access Hollywood tape. When you're a star, they let you do it. You can do anything. Grab them by the You can do anything. That's what you said, correct? Well, historically, that's true with stars. It's true with stars that, that they can grab women by the Well, that's what it's. If you look over the last million years, I guess that's been... Largely true, not always, but largely true. Unfortunately or fortunately. And you consider yourself uh, to be a star? I think you can say that, yeah. Mr. Mr. Trump's, Trump's attorney, Joe Takapina, Takapina, telling reporters after court today that tape, a possible ground for the forthcoming appeal. The Access Hollywood tape should not have come into this case. There were things that happened in this case that were beyond the pale. In his deposition, Mr. Trump also confused a photo of Carol, who he'd said wasn't his type, for his ex-wife, Marla Maples. That's Marla, yeah. That's, that's my wife. Which woman are you pointing to? A striking moment Takapina never addressed at trial. And, Laura, this case is also breaking rare legal ground. That's right, Lester. Carol's case is actually among the first to go to trial using a new law that gives survivors of sexual assault a window to file civil suits, even when the statute of limitations has long since passed. Now, many have filed claims under this new law, none, obviously, with a verdict quite like this, Lester. Laura Jarrett, Laura, thanks very much. For more now, I'm joined by legal analyst Danny Savalas. Danny, let's talk about that deposition for a moment clearly wasn't helpful to the former president. Is that an issue for lawyers going forward as he faces potential other legal cases? Yes, the lesson to be learned is that if you get Trump into a deposition, he might stay on script for a little while, but sooner or later he veers into improv, and improv is bad for him. For example, saying that the plaintiff in this case was not his type had nothing to do with any kind of defense. It only hurt him in the end. And in addition, defending the Access Hollywood tape instead of distancing himself from it also didn't help. All that evidence created by Trump himself, it had nothing to do with the case in chief. It was something that the plaintiff used liberally in her closing argument, and it worked. All right, Danny Savalas, thank you. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.